Hello, I am Nick Anderson, editorial cartoonist um, for the Washington Post Writers Group, and this is my Patreon page, which I just launched. Um, I'm going to be talking a little bit about my drawing process today. Today I'm going to go through the sketching process, and I'll show you a little bit how that works. This is my Wacom Cintiq monitor. I work electronically. Uh, I do not like to work on paper anymore. I used to work com exclusively on paper and uh, really got kind of, it's just time, more time consuming. And with today's deadlines uh, being what they are, I decided to move to this and it's a lot faster. Um, so this is what I start with. It's just a, uh, a really quick sketch that I show to my friends and editors and uh, they tell me what they think. I showed them a couple today and my editor at the writer's group said she liked both of them, so I'm going to end up doing both of them. So I start with something like this. I'm going to move this a little closer. And then... I'm going to move that to a hidden layer, or I'm going to move it to... I'm going to reduce the opacity. Basically, this just gives me a really... This is like a 30 second sketch. So now I need to get a more refined sketch. This thing is really big. I like a large surface area. This thing right here controls my pen size and has a bunch of controls, little buttons on it. it gives me a lot of control over the dis different uh, features of my uh, pens and I can rotate the image, I can blow it up, I can control my pen size, it's like an advertisement for Wacom. This rotates it, which is kind of what I want to do right now. now I want to go back to pen size, well brush size in this case. Eraser. I like drawing cra crazy eyes. And given our political environment, I get the opportunity to do that a lot. Actually kind of skipping a step here. I usually do a more refined sketch, but this particular drawing is easier than most. It's a simple concept, and I liked how the looseness of the 30 second sketch, so I'm kind of going right to my ink. Ink, digital ink. I rarely do this. I will post other videos later to show the, the interim process where I spend I actually usually spend a lot more time on the next step, the, the, uh, the sketching phase to get the uh, drawing more refined. This one didn't really need it. not for the main character. 
this character over here is a little less refined. I may go back and sketch that out a little bit better before I ink it. And then I have a third, pro another process where I, uh, I do the painting, the digital painting. I use Corel Painter for that. I like the sort of uh, natural media look it gives. Kind of looks like watercolor without having to wait for it to dry. It's not always this fast. Oftentimes it's more laborious. So at this point I have to start thinking about, do I want to fill this in with ink, with black, or do I want to fill it in with color later on? I used to do a lot more inking, Let me turn this off. and now I do, I fill in more with color. I enjoy the coloring process a little bit more than the uh, inking process. Or the painting process, I guess I enjoy more. But without doing a fair amount of this, it, start, it can kind of look unfinished if I don't do some of this. My style is very kind of loose and sketchy. see that all right yeah so this guy you can see him I have this on a separate layer that's, I work in layers see that's what he looks like so I reduce the opacity uh, let me go that's not bad let me ink it out and see how it looks This particular cartoon is about guns, which is definitely in the news and in the public debate right now with the shooting last week in Florida. keep this video short and uh, I'll post another one later showing the coloring process. Uh, if you want to see the finished cartoon you can go to my website which is uh, www.patreon.com forward slash editorial cartoons. I'll post a link under the video. That's all for right now. Thank you.